Hi everyone, this is ASB Nente, back with another video. I'll tell you some interesting facts about the upcoming Mortal Kombat movie, as well as what some of the characters will be. Who will we not see in the film? I looked through a lot of open sources, interviews with creators and actors, and I want to share it with you. Are you ready? Let's go! The Red Band trailer of 2021 Mortal Kombat movie had 116 million views in its first week, becoming the biggest Red Band trailer of all time. This is Simon McQuoid's first feature film, and this is the first time feature director comes from making video games commercials. He was also a huge gamer. The Mortal Kombat film is rated R, and there will be blood. A lot of blood. But that's not surprising. Bennett Walsh, who is the producer of the film, worked with Tarantino on Kill Bill, so he has a lot of experience with blood. The Mortal Kombat video game timeline would be very complicated for the movie, so the creators decided to start cleanly. It means that the film timeline is unrelated to the video game timeline. This is the first Mortal Kombat movie to not feature Johnny Cage. It seems that Liu Kang may have received an upgrade. In the games he throws fireballs and does bicycle kicks. He can also summon a dragon. But in this film Liu Kang will move very fast. His speed will be unhuman. According to producer Todd Garner, Liu Kang may have a time warping powers. This is the first time we are seeing Kun Lao in a live action movie. Max Huang, who plays Kun Lao, spent his life training and working with the stunt team of Jackie Chan. Using these skills he came up with ideas to make Mortal Kombat's choreography even better. As everyone knows, the Kun Lao's head makes that character. When Max Huang began researching his role, he made himself a cardboard head to match Kung Lao's signature brim and began practicing on his own with it. But when he put on Kung Lao's actual on-screen head, he was surprised by how heavy it was, and he had to change some of his tactics and style as a result. There were about 20 different prototypes of the head before the designers get that one. It was a really complex process to design the characters. Pretty interesting fact. When Max Huang was originally brought into audition for Mortal Kombat, it wasn't as Kun Lao. It was for Kun Lao's cousin, Liu Kang. Yes, you heard right. In this film these characters will be cousins. In the video games these Shaolin monks are close friends. And here's Scorpion. We see him in his full regalia that were inspired by Japanese history. He looks more like a samurai. According to Simon McWars, this is probably the first version of his design. And yes, we'll see the famous scorpion skull in the movie. Several beloved characters were cut earlier in pre-production. One such character is the purple ninja Rain, because the creators felt his function was too similar to what Reptile was already providing for the film. The VFX company who created Goro have done an amazing job. Goro will be a fully CGI character, as Garner believes that a fully puppet version of the character in 1995 film wouldn't work. To play an MMA fighter called Young, Louis Star needed to engage with MMA. Yes, he is a professional kickboxer and Muay Thai fighter, and he used his experience in the ring in the key components of playing Cole. But he also special looked at welterweight UFC fighter Jorge Masvidal for inspiration for the moves. Of course, it will be a serious action movie, but it will also have some comedy. For example, Kano representing a kind of audience member who looks at all of this Mortal Kombat stuff. There will be a balance of comedy, drama and fighting. Raiden won't be the typical god of thunder or stoic font of wisdom as he's often depicted in all the Mortal Kombats. According to Tatanobu Asano who plays this character, Raiden would be full of emotional complexities. We'll see a slightly different version of Sub-Zero who is playing by Joe Taslim. He is a villain for sure, but not a typical villain. Yes, he is a Lin Kuei assassin, but Taslim explains that the inner conflict between humanity and the dark side is a key part of the character he plays in the Mortal Kombat movie. So it will be a deep and soulful Mortal Kombat feature film that we haven't seen before. It will be more than just a fighting movie. It's not about death, but life. And this is great. That's all. See you next time. Bye.